The head of the Citizenship by Investment Unit, uh, April the 6th, 2021, came out with a revision dealing with the sale of private homes under the Citizenship by Investment Program. And he basically stated that he was pleased to advise that Cabinet had approved the sale of private homes under the Citizenship by Investment Program. Uh, this modification is included in the St. Kitts and Nevis Statutory Rules and Orders SR and O number 8 of 2021. And I'm going to go over the specifics of this legislation. Uh, but if you get a chance, if you will go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, hit that top bar that says apply with us, fill out the questions, and then hit that bottom bar that says send it to us. Be glad to get back with you. Uh, now, if you're not making at least $150,000 U.S. dollars a year and or you've got a net worth at least $1 million, uh, I would advise you probably not to be doing this unless you are, uh, are in, in the midst of making a high income. In, in that instance, it, it would be uh, good to be doing something because uh, you're, you're needing to, uh, uh, to get out of the, if you're wanting to get out of the U.S. or a high tax country, you're better off doing it before you have a lot of high, high assets built up. But uh, if you don't have this sort of income and net worth, um, I would hold off for right now because th that's pretty much who we're, we're dealing with on this. All right, now let me go over the specifics of this legislation, and it is as follows. Uh, November the 1st, 2020 to November of 2022 is the qualifying period to buy these homes. They're going to qualify for citizenship purposes. Uh, this law came out six months ago, uh, although, you know, we just got notice of it. So you only have a year and a half left of the qualifying period. Now, all homes uh, having an appraised value of more than $400,000 uh, would, would, would qualify, but there are some stipulations which I'm going to go over with you here. The property shall be owned by certificate of title by the vendor. We've got a lot of properties that are what's called a deed of conveyance. They will not fly in this, so you cannot use those properties. So you need to make sure if you're talking to a realtor that they're, they're, the property is only title property. The value of the land shall be included in determining the value of the home. Uh, so you're probably going to have to get, if you're getting a house with land, you're probably going to have to get some of this 450 to 550 to 600,000 because that land is not included in the actual appraisal. So the, the total overall price is going to be a lot more than 400000 unless you get a condominium where you don't own the property underneath the condo. Now, single family homes shall be sold as one unit and shall not be converted into uh, to actually apartments or condominiums or otherwise uh, divided for sale under the Citizenship by Investment Program. An apartment uh, or building uh, or more than one apartment or buildings on the th same piece of land shall be sold as one unit and shall not be subdivided. Uh, the use of shares is prohibited. Now, they're still going to have the share, uh, the fractional share option, but that's with the properties that are in the citizenship zone, not these private homes. Uh, also, uh, the let's look at the appraisal on the uh, property and how they figure that out. The value of the house or building shall be independently appraised by a qualified appraiser or supported by a copy of the tax appraisal that is no older than six months. Uh, also, this is real important here, is the, uh, the property purchase under the private home shall not be resold for a period of five years and the property does not qualify for use or in, in subsequent citizenship by investment applications. This is real important. You know this because these private homes are going to be different than the citizenship zone properties. You cannot, if you buy it for citizenship, this private home, and then you try to resell it, you cannot resell it for someone else that's trying to get citizenship also. If you want that, you need to stick with the citizenship zones where you can do that. Okay, it's real important you know that. So uh, that they, they do have good value in some of the properties in the citizenship zones. Some are overpriced, but we have some there's cheapest or close to cheap as the private homes. But the big key is you got that market of um, foreigners that you can sell to that want citizenship. So this is a big plus that you need to uh, take in consideration. Uh, the certificate of registration will only be issued to the purchase when a memorandum of transfer is presented to the unit. If you want to know more how to legally get your taxes to zero, how to get a second passport as quick as three months, do three things. Hit the subscribe button to the right of your screen right here and you get new videos automatically. And don't forget to hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button. 
And number two is I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, just put it below. And number three is go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com. Hit that top bar that says apply with us, fill out the questions, and then hit that top, the, the, the bottom bar that says send it to us. We'll get back with you and see what we can do to solve whatever problem you got. And I look forward to talking to you on the next video.